Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. Now you guys seem to like my 5 largest freshwater fish videos, and I will continue making them, but I've decided to start a saltwater version as well. And in this first episode, I will be going through 5 saltwater fish that are thought to be the largest in the world. And for our first species, we'll be heading off to the tropical oceans, as we have the whale shark. Now the whale shark is the undisputed largest fish in the world, but not only is it the largest, but it's one of the longest living, as their lifespan is estimated to be around 80 to 130 years. So there's probably a whale shark out there that's older than you, but as I'm sure many of you know, they're not actually related to whales at all and are true sharks. But the name whale shark both comes from their size and their feeding method. As like many whale species, they are filter feeders, and they roam the tropical oceans with their mouth open, filtering out plankton. But they don't limit themselves to plankton, as they're also known to sieve out squid, krill, and small fish. And they have very good equipment to do so, as their mouths can be as wide as around 1.5 meters, or around 5 feet wide, meaning that you could easily fit inside, not that a whale shark would like to eat you. And in these giant mouths, they have around 3,000 tiny teeth, but they don't use these to feed at all, as they actually use their gill rakers, which helps filter the plankton from the Water. But they aren't the only shark species to feed in this way, as there are two other species, the Megamouth shark and the basking shark, that both feed in this way, and we'll hear more about the basking shark a little later in the video. But while they're swimming through the tropical oceans, they rarely reach speeds higher than 5 km per hour, and because of this leisurely pace, and also because of their docile nature, many people choose to swim with them. And if done responsibly, this can be a great way to get closer to nature, and it's a great once in a lifetime experience. But sometimes this goes a little too far, and this can stress the shark so it's important to be careful and don't bother them when you're in the water with them. And female whale sharks actually give birth to live young, as after mating the female will hold on to the sperm and produces a steady stream of pups over a prolonged period. And unlike the song, these baby sharks are very cute, but when they're fully mature they can reach giant sizes, as they're thought to reach a maximum length of around 18.8 meters or around 62 feet, and a whale shark of this size weighs around 15 tons or around 30,000 pounds. And to put that into perspective, that's around two African African bush elephants, or around three male elephant seals, so that is a very respectable size for the largest fish in the world. But if you want to find out a little more about whale sharks, I did do a little video on them a few weeks ago. But our next species can be found in colder coastal regions, and luckily for me can be found very close to where I live, and it is the basking shark. Now the basking shark is the official second largest fish in the world, and as I mentioned previously, is another plankton eating shark species. And the basking shark gets its name from its feeding strategy, as they are very rarely sighted in the colder months, as soon as the sun arrives and the plankton blooms, they can be seen close to the surface of the water with their mouths open, swimming through large clouds of plankton, and it would seem to many onlookers like they're basking in the sun. But this dark menacing shape in the water can cause many unaware people to panic, but like the whale shark they are completely harmless, and even though they could fit you in their mouths, they really don't want to. But unlike the whale shark, the basking shark prefers cooler waters, as they like the temperature around 8 to 14 degrees Celsius, and because of this they tend to stay away from the equator. But once the hotter months are over, the basking sharks seem to disappear, but they're thought to migrate to deeper southern waters, and in 2009, 25 basking sharks off the coast of Cape Cod were tagged so that scientists could reveal where they go, and some of these specimens found their way across the equator and all the way down to Brazil, and some tagged basking sharks from the UK travelled all the way to Newfoundland. Even though it doesn't reach the sizes of the whale shark, it does reach a very respectable 12 meters long, or around 39 feet. And at this size, they weigh around 4.5 tons, or around 10,000 pounds. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same weight as an ambulance, or around five walruses. So this truly is the largest fish that you can find in cooler waters. But for our next species, we'll be heading to even colder waters, as we have the Greenland shark. Now the Greenland shark has to be the most eerie and mysterious shark in the world, as it has a very zombie-like appearance, and they lurk in the deep cold water. Waters, as they're mostly restricted to the waters of the North Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. And when I said the deep cold oceans, I really did mean it, as these large sharks have been found 2.2 kilometers beneath the surface. And rivaling the tiger shark, Greenland shark must have one of the weirdest diets out there, as they're opportunistic feeders and feed on prey that's both dead and alive, and they don't tend to turn their nose up at carcasses. Greenland sharks aren't the fastest of movers, but there is some evidence that they ambush sleeping seals that are trying to have a nap in the water. But some scientists believe that they're primarily scavengers, as polar bears, horses, moose, and even an entire reindeer have been found in Greenland shark stomachs. And Greenland sharks have very unconventional teeth, as they're almost designed to cut out a plug of flesh, as they tend to feed by grabbing onto a food item and shaking their body side to side, cutting out a semicircle shaped hole. And Greenland sharks are one of the oldest living ocean creatures, as they're thought to live to over 200 years old, so there might be some Greenland sharks out there that are almost as old as America. And if for some reason you were fishing in the Arctic, and you managed to catch a 
green shark, you might not want to eat it, as their flesh is actually toxic and causes intestinal distress and neurological effects similar to extreme drunkenness. And if you eat a very large quantity, it can even result in death. But the people of Iceland and Greenland have figured out a way to eat this flesh with no ill effects. As the fish is buried underground for around 6 to 12 weeks, this meat is then hung up to dry, and at this point it's safe to eat. And this mysterious zombie shark can grow to large sizes, as they're thought to reach a maximum size around 6.4 meters or around 21 feet. And at this size, they weigh around 1,000 kilograms, or around 2,200 pounds. And to put that into perspective, that's around the same weight as an adult male moose or a saltwater crocodile. So even though it's not the largest, it's definitely the creepiest fish on this list. Our next species can be found in all tropical and temperate oceans around the world, and it is the ocean sunfish. Now, the ocean sunfish is one of the weirdest fish in the ocean, and to be quite honest, it doesn't really make much sense. Now, the sunfish got its name because it can often be seen basking in the sun, but when they're not sunbathing, they're actually prolific predators, as their main source of food is jellyfish. And to feed on these jellyfish, they almost have a bird-like beak, as they have three teeth, two in their mouth and one in their throats. And this bird-like beak is a huge clue to who their closest relatives are, as their closest relatives are thought to be boxfish, triggerfish and pufferfish, which all have some pretty mean beaks. And as you can probably tell, the ocean sunfish doesn't look like a conventional fish, as they don't have scales or a tail, and they have a very strange way of moving through the water. But not having scales brings up a few issues, as this fish is known to have 40 different species of parasites living on it at one time. And because they look like a big floating head, it's easy to assume that they quite dumb, but they don't just appear unintelligent because they really are, as an ocean sunfish weighing around 200 kilograms tends to have a brain size of around 5 grams, and for such a large fish that's quite astonishing. But female ocean sunfish must be made up of around 50% eggs, because a female can lay over 300 million eggs at a time, which is more than any other vertebrate. But this goofy floating head can reach massive sizes, as they're thought to reach a maximum size of around 3 meters or around 10 feet. But because of their disc shaped body, fish of this size is thought to weigh around a thousand kilograms or around 2200 pounds and to put that into perspective that's around the same weight as a giraffe or an adult male polar bear so even though it's not the largest it's definitely the goofiest but for our next species we'll head to the deep waters of the tropical oceans as we have the giant oarfish now the oarfish is the world's longest bony fish but this is very much helped by the fact that it's a very ribbon like body and the oarfish is normally found in very deep water and can be found at depths of up to a kilometer or 3300 feet below the surface and in these deep waters, they're known to feed on krill, small crustaceans, small fish, and squid. And because of their very snake-like body, all fish are believed to be the creatures behind the legends of sea serpents. And for a very long time, people knew very little about the giant oarfish, as most of the sightings is when this fish would wash up dead on beaches. And in some countries, the oarfish is known as the earthquake fish, as it's believed that these fish will wash up on beaches just before an earthquake hits. But if you were to come across a giant oarfish that's washed up on the beach, I wouldn't suggest eating it, as their flesh is said to taste tastes like a flabby gooey material and definitely isn't good eating. But if you did want to eat it, there's a lot to go round, as they're thought to reach a maximum length of around 8 metres or around 26 feet. And a fish of this size weighs around 270 kilograms or around 600 pounds. And to put that into perspective, it's around the same weight as a mountain zebra or a grizzly bear. So this fish truly is a giant, but I wouldn't recommend eating it. But that's about it for this video. If you have any other large saltwater fish that you want me to cover, leave them down in the comments below, and I'm sure I'll feature them in another episode in the series. Series. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.